Now that Witch Queen has dropped and we can actually see what weapon crafting details, I have to admit it's, it's a pretty cool system. It harkens in some respects to back in Destiny 1, and for those of you who are not familiar with Destiny 1, you actually in Destiny 1 had to do a lot of work to actually level up your weapons. Now, this is not quite as bad as that, but it is definitely a really cool system that will allow you to make some really cool weapons and hopefully over time, declutter your vault. So first off, to get weapon crafting, the first thing you need to do is you need to do the initial arrivals mission. Once you complete that, you'll go back to the Enclave. The Enclave is on the place on Mars where Ikora is. She will give you a relic mission that will actually give you the first pattern for your first weapon, which is your glaive. The patterns that you get are basically the, think about them as blueprints that you have for your weapons. You need these to be able to actually unlock and actually be able to create weapons of certain archetypes. Patterns can come from actual mission objectives, like in this case, or they can come from random deep sized resonant weapons in the field. Now you're like, what's a deep sight resonance weapon? Well, deep sized resonance weapons are weapons that actually drop just from world encounters from anywhere within any activity, but they'll have a red outline on top of them so you'll be able to tell that they're actual those type of weapons. These deep sight resonance weapons, the way you actually get, again, those patterns is to basically use the weapon in combat. And it'll give you a little bar that if you look at the weapon, you'll be able to tell and be able to tell what you need to do to actually get it to drop that. The other thing when it does that, it'll also give you a certain amount of materials. These are materials you need for crafting other weapons. When you reach the objectives on the weapon, if you actually, there is an actual icon that'll show up on the weapon where you can go and you can pick what type of materials you want, depending on what you want in the future. The other thing is, once you use that, you're also gonna get a pop-up that's gonna say basically you, you have a pattern that's been unlocked as part of this weapon. If for that, you would actually then go to your Triumphs page. On Triumphs, there's a Catalyst and Patterns area where you can actually go in and you can actually then unlock and track which of the patterns and the patterns themselves will actually show you what you need to do, where the patterns drop for the particular type of weapons you're looking for. So as you shape new weapons off those patterns, you'll have all sorts of perks that are within the perk pools for this particular weapon. And again, you get those unlocked depending on the weapon level. And the weapon level is determined on how much you use it. So you have to keep upgrading like you upgrade other things within the game. As you do that, you'll also get very clear directions on with those particular perks. Because again, you get like baseline perks and you can get enhanced perks that are basically the same thing with some advantages on top of it. You'll see what specific resources you need to actually upgrade those. In addition to getting the materials that you got previously from leveling up those deep sight weapons, you also need other materials to be able to further upgrade your weapons. One of those is resonant alloys. Now resonant alloys is something that you get from basically breaking down other legendary weapons. So it's a good opportunity then if you wanna clear some stuff out of your vault to do that to get some of those materials. Ascended alloys are things you need for more interesting perks and more enhanced perks. And that you can get basically from the campaign missions that are weekly and from the Throne World offenses. But in addition, you can purchase them from the Cryptarch or Banshee. So that's another way you can get them. And finally, the other thing you can do that's really cool weapons are things called mementos. So these are things that we don't have yet, but basically allow you to use special shaders, trackers, and basically make the weapon special memorable. And these come from specific, more end game, high end activity. So again, those will open up here in the future. So in summary, some of this we knew beforehand, but it's nice to actually see it live in the game and know how we get this and, and how we kind of level some of these things up. This is, I think, a huge upgrade in what we have currently. Like I said, in Destiny 1, it was too far one way. And where it felt like you had to level up a weapon forever or just figure out how to get a bunch of uh, motes of light to be able to do that. But with this, you can customize the weapon. You can keep it. It actually has a timestamp that says when the weapon was formed, which is really, really cool. And over time, you can modify it in different seasons. Obviously, you'll have to grind to do that, but you'll be able to add additional perks or change the weapon. So instead, you'll have the same frame, the same weapon that has a ton of kills for you and the gun that you love, but you won't have to shard it. And you also won't have to take up a ton of space in your vault. So again, this is another way I think Destiny is really upping their game and giving you more of those MMO RPG elements that you see in other games. So again, that's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video. Subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.